you'll be able to get out the door without there. What is out there now is a light. All right, let's talk weather alerts though. We still have in pink those winter storm warnings, including northwest New Jersey, the Hudson Valley, uh, Putnam County included there. Now in a winter weather advisory, we have parts of Bergen County, Passaic County, Rockland, Westchester, and Fairfield County, where uh, the snow totals may be a little bit on the lighter side. But you can see there's a quick transition zone where it's more of that nuisance snow to where it could be as much as a foot in that deep shade of purple from Pike County, Orange County, uh, Putnam County, even clipping into northern Fairfield County where you get into Poughkeepsie, Liberty Territory, and you're talking about a foot to maybe a foot and a half of snow. Again, what's out there now is light. Our storm system is still developing. We've got 37 degrees in White Plains and some drizzle in the city. Temperatures for the city stay well above freezing into the 40s, and that rain gets heavy at times into tonight, and about that time, too, that snow will start to get heavy as well. So we'll break down the timing and the placement of everything for you coming up in just a bit. But talk about timing. Let's time out the commute because you still have to get out and about today, Adele. Uh, yes, the worst is yet to come, but it's definitely not easy. So they want to mitigate as much as they can. Yeah, Connecticut is a great example of a tough forecast. The coastal area is not as much, but you get to northern Connecticut and maybe a foot or more. On top of that, some coastal flood concerns. Coastal Connecticut in and around the city and Long Island. Coastal flood advisories posted for tonight into early tomorrow for those driving easterly winds but by tomorrow afternoon, blustery out of the west also could lead to some power outages. So we'll break down the other impacts and, of course, the latest on the snow totals coming up. This is a powerful system that's still developing, and there's just a lot of liquid with it. If you were to just melt everything and everything was rain, it would come down to as much as two to three inches of it. And we've got about an inch or two of that equivalent in and around the city. But it is not going to be cold enough for snow everywhere all the time. And so that's why we have such a, an interesting snowfall totals forecast map. So in through the city, not much has changed in our thinking since uh, last night, if you were watching Matt, about one to three slushy accumulation from the city, even parts of Long Island. You get north of the city and it gets definitely more complicated. Once again, that transition zone is everything in uh, areas like Bergen County, Morris County, kind of in it. Also Fairfield County, where a uh, coastal area is less than an inch possible. and You get to the northern part of the county and maybe you're talking more like half a foot or more. And certainly the Hudson Valley, northern Connecticut, definitely in for that heaviest snowfall. As far as where we are right now with the storm system, everything out there is pretty light, but it is uh, definitely drizzle and enough to slow you down. They look at the Staten Island Expressway. We've got 39 degrees. Once again, another system where most of us are above freezing, at least for now. And temperature wise, uh, that's the case from Poughkeepsie all the way to Islip. So as our storm system really begins to ramp up later today, that coastal low develops, everything intensifies the winds, the rainfall and that snowfall heavy at times heading into tonight and continues through tomorrow morning. Again, you see north and west of the city where it's solidly more solidly in that snowfall. We do get a chance to see that changeover tomorrow afternoon, even for the city, Long Island, Central and South Jersey. And this system really kind of drags out through tomorrow evening, even in into Wednesday morning. Is Wednesday morning's commute going to be as difficult as tomorrow and tomorrow evenings? Maybe a little bit easier as we see the conditions dry out, but it's going to be blustery still. Those winds a factor. So today again, it's going to be everything ramping up. Temperatures into the 40s in the city. We stay above freezing here with that rain, some of that heavy at times. Those gusty northeast winds changing to the northwest tomorrow and a chance to see some of that transition over to some snowfall. So a real mess even for tomorrow. We do get better by Wednesday. 